I should have put you somewhere I don't know what to find you. Passion on them sticks with nothing around you. Trade the Texas, Dallas, Texas, you know a different environment. You got desire. I know, I know. You got desire. I know, I know. You got desire. Self-control is never been a thing Don't think that a help, there's a ring with a problem Where I'm from, it's a You come from a city, where there's a ring with a problem I don't want to be so many things How you gonna be in this a I don't want to see so many things Tickets to them places don't go cheap I see it back in the search, remember who took it at first I back on shit, I ain't tell you where to get it I'm always moving too fast, I'm feeling don't last I feel like I'm cheating for granted Probably my fault for the way that I handle it I should've pushed you somewhere, I'm gonna open fire you Passing out in sticks with nothing around you Katy, Texas, Dallas, Texas, you know a different environment Good morning guys! I'm just getting some water out the fridge I'm actually heading out right now I'm gonna go do my nails on my toes right now um, I have somebody's hair to curl. I don't do hair to be honest, but I just do one person's hair. My old manager, I, al I always curl her hair for her whenever she's going somewhere. So I'm doing that at three o'clock. Before that though, I'm gonna do my nails, my toes. I also want to go to HomeSense and I kind of want to go to Walmart too, but Curtis also needs to go to Walmart. So I think I'm gonna wait until after i curl her hair and then we can all just go together me asher curtis to walmart i want to get some like fall decor i'm kind of late with the fall decor to be honest i wasn't really in the mood as you guys saw my last vlog i was not in the mood the week prior to my last vlog so i didn't do any like shopping or anything like that but obviously we're in high spirits now i honestly think that i was pmsing that week like not my last vlog the vlog i mean the week before that because yes, my period did return and it was that same week. And but I never used to PMS. Like I used to get my cycle and not be moody and nothing like that. I never, ever, ever had a cramp in my life. Never PMSed in my life. But I'm, now I'm looking at the timeline and I kind of feel like that is what it was. And I didn't realize it because it's never happened. Like I've never had any hormonal changes during my period. So could have been that anywho i'm gonna go do my nails because mm -hmm, yeah i don't need to say anything more about that asher just woke up from his nap if you guys hear him crying in the back <laughs> um he's hungry so curtis is gonna feed him now but yeah i'm gonna go do my nails and all that i have a package to drop off as well to the post office remember shop signing beauty cosmetics It'll be on the screen and also in the description box. When Asher was just born, I went to HomeSense and I bought this little pumpkin. I bought this little pumpkin from HomeSense, like I think when Asher was born, like when he was one or two weeks old. And I had it in my cupboard, like my TV stand for so long, I forgot about it. So yeah, we're gonna try to find something to go with this. I did order something off Amazon as well. So I'm gonna see that's supposed to come today or tomorrow. You guys will see, I'll show you guys anyway. But um, yeah. Hey, 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 hey,
little bit later on in the day um, I actually came home and then I had some stuff to do and lay down with Asher for a bit and now it's evening so let me show you guys what I got I was trying to do some fall decor shopping at HomeSense as you guys can see HomeSense is on the Christmas wave already if you hear that noise that's Asher playing with his Asher's playing with his love every situation over there <laughs> yeah Asher, come on there was only like christmas stuff in the store right now so i'm not really buying christmas stuff right now i think though i think this time of i think this time of the year is a good time to get a good head start on your christmas decor shopping so maybe i'll be back for that but i don't know it's not even november yet but anyways so yeah no fall stuff maybe i'll try michael's another day because that's where i got the pumpkin i showed you guys earlier but I will show you guys. I did get a little um, agenda. I did get an agenda for 2023. Um, usually I like this brand. It's the Fringe Planners. I always, always, always get the same brand of planners. I'll show you guys why. So they have the full double-sided calendar. I like that every month they have a month at a glance. You can do like your to-do. You can do goals, birthdays, anniversaries, and take notes at the bottom there. It's a good enough space to write in for each of the days. I like to get these at HomeSense because they're $14.99 at HomeSense, whereas if I got it at Indigo or Chapters or whatever, it'd be 20 something dollars. So there's a makeup artist here that I'm friends with. Her favorite wipes, because I've been buying Neutrogena wipes for my kit. And you guys know there's only like 25 wipes in the pack and it's like 10, 11 dollars. I think they just raised the price to 11 dollars for the pack of wipes. But she said she actually uses these ones from the dollar store, which are her favorite. They're $1.25. 25 wipes in the pack as well so i got three packs of those to put into my kit i have a wedding tomorrow as well so i got i have a wedding tomorrow so i also got a duo glue and i ordered some lashes off of amazon i think i've showed you guys these lashes before let me just show you guys them again oh i got primer too i didn't remember anyways the primer I like to have in my kit is the Maybelline Master Prime Primer. I'll put them in the description box, but these are the lashes that I like to use when I'm doing, I don't know, a lot of my clients. A lot of my clients like these. I have some more dramatic ones in my kit already, but I didn't need to re-up on those. I just needed to re-up on these. I don't know if I told you guys before that um, I was using probiotic drops in Asher's um, formula. That one kind of expired. I think you can only use it for like 28 days. So I asked Curtis to pick up this one from Walmart, which is the Biogea probiotics for babies so it said it's good for colic relief and digestive health so i'm gonna try this one i did try the other brand i think it's the baby d or vitamin d probiotic drops those ones are cheaper it's like 16 dollars for it but this one is like 30 dollars and i wanted to just try something else before i jump and get this one so i'm gonna try this with him as of tonight okay you want to say hi daddy do you want to say hi daddy you're just gonna spit for the people um yeah so curtis is cooking right now so yeah we're gonna go to a cooking scene so what are we doing here chef so first order of business is you want to get a little bit of oil i did some on that mm -hmm. put it on i learned this trick from my mom okay okay and what you're gonna do is rub it in and what it does it helps the seasoning bind to it but it also gives you the crispy salmon crunch on top okay okay some salmon season i'm gonna put the thyme in thyme mm. so you just put it on top okay. on top all right and i have one more trick for your viewers okay we've got the lemons but i like to put that on after okay. so you're gonna put this on after yeah okay and one more trick that they don't tell you 
You gotta have the kosher salt. Let me see that kosher. So the kosher salt, it's kosher. very, <laughs> it's very coarse or very big. So when you eat the salmon, you can feel, you can hear the crunch. You get a little crunch, okay? And it's about it the make, texture. Yeah, it makes. <laughs> makes a little bit feel more uh, gourmet. Okay, so gourmet salmon is what we're doing today. Try nothing. Okay, stay tuned for the gourmet salmon. Okay guys, so I'm at the superstore right now and I came to buy some groceries, but I see some cute stuff for Asher. Let me show you guys what I'm looking at. So I see this like sleeper set. So cute. There's a little sheep on it. And then they have these pants too. The super, honestly, superstore is very cheap. Um, they have these joggers, these ones with stripes. And then... I was also telling you guys that I'm buying him only long sleeve onesies, so I think this is like such a cute little set. And it's so cheap, I think, what is it? Oh, it's 25. Hmm, is it really that cheap? It is 25. Fine. Oh, this is so cute too. But first, milk. Oh. Stripes. Oh, these are so cool. I like this. I like this set. Okay. But it's like the same color scheme. I don't really like that. Hmm. Oh, the bottoms are two for twelve as well. Okay, okay, might as well get two. What is this? Oh, I don't like these ones with the buttons. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, I think I've had enough of in here, so I'm gonna go. Hey guys, so it's a few days past. Honestly, I don't even remember when I picked up my camera last. I think I was at HomeSense and I was looking for fall decor and stuff like that. Um, actually, no, I was at the Superstore and I picked up some stuff for Asher. Whatever, I haven't vlogged every day. Mainly because I had, um, I don't know, I had stuff to do, honestly. I had clients, I had, like, we had um, family over, then I went to my mom's yesterday. I had, what did I do before that? I had a photo shoot before I went to my mom's. Like, I feel like I can't vlog on weekends, to be honest. Friday, Saturday, Sunday is kind of like a write-off for me. I had a wedding on Friday. Couldn't vlog on Friday, had a wedding Friday. Saturday, um, what else? What happened on Saturday? Had a wedding on Friday really early all the way to the afternoon. I had, um, I had family over on Saturday and then, yeah. From the morning all the way till the night i yeah anyways i was busy from morning till night i had a client as well that day sunday i had a photo shoot and then i went to my mom's house so we were there till the night so my weekends are never like they're vloggable but i don't vlog <laughs> anyway anyway that's besides the point i just came back from the gym just fed asher and put him down for a, a nap can you believe guys i don't know if you remember me telling you that he didn't like the baby Bajorn bouncer for so long. Like anytime I used to put him in it, he would be bawling. But he went in it earlier on in this vlog and then he was in it even longer today, okay? Like he was in it long enough for me to take a shower and lotion up and get ready and spread the bed. So, you know, I keep forcing him to go in it because I want him to get familiar so that we can like, you know, start using it. Because a lot of people say they love it and I'm just like, I want to... I want him to love it too, but he's just not used to being confined into something. Not even that he's confined, he just doesn't like being in something, you know? I.e. the car seat. <laughs> I'm laughing because I just sat down to do this and Asher is awake. <laughs> what time is it? He legit only slept for 15 minutes, this is a joke. Um, okay, let me do this real quick for you guys because he's gonna go crazy. I don't like to go grab him as soon as he wakes up because, I don't know, I don't want him to, you know what they say, not to go get them as soon as they wake up. So I am gonna use about like two minutes just to show you guys what I got. Okay, so I, oh, this is big and heavy, you see? I ordered this uh, Tarani Caramel Syrup tarani caramel syrup off of amazon i've been trying to make like my coffee drinks at home and stuff <laughs> ah! okay 
I'm, okay, let me just let me just go get to the star of the show and I'll be right back. I went on to Amazon and I saw these little tiny pumpkins, so I'm so happy about that because they're so they're so nice and so pretty. They come in a Asher's chatting, but they come in a variety of sizes, and I like that they're off white with the gold stem. Look at this. So I have a black mesh basket on the TV stand. I'm gonna put them in there. Maybe I can put a few around the house because there's so many in this box. The other day when I was at the Superstore, I picked up a candle because I can't find any fall candles. So I just gave up. But at the Superstore, they have these Life at Home candles, three wick candles. They're very affordable. I think it, I don't remember how much it was, but it's very affordable. It's in the scent Coco Mocha. I love it. It's almost like a, it's almost like a blondie type of scent, like a blondie brownie scent. Okay, Dada. Yeah, it's almost like a brownie, blondie, like a blondie brownie type of scent. So it does smell more like a baked good. Curtis's mom actually got me these yesterday. So I'm going to put them on the TV stand now. Um, and I love them because they are fall inspired, okay? So I'm so happy. Thanks, Anne. All I got from HomeSense was these hangers. They're like uh, velvet type hangers. If you guys remember, I said I needed hangers for Asher's like sweaters and stuff like that. So I got these. It's a pack of 15 and they had them on sale for $5, guys. So I'm so happy about that. 15 of them, $5. That, pr that price cannot be beat, okay? I also got a new um, exfoliating towel from Amazon. If you guys saw my shower hygiene routine video, you know I like to use these to exfoliate. Um, I pretty much use this every single time I take a shower, so I just got a new one. I think I think maybe two vlogs back I showed you guys that I love these um, Jersey knit sleepers for Asher from Carter's and I only had them in two colors and the other colors were hard for me to find. But I saw them yesterday, so I got them and I actually got them a size up. These are a size six. This is a six month size. I got them in the six month size because guys, he is like so long. He's pretty much fitting into this already. He's gonna be three months in two weeks. Um, so yeah, they also had this like kind of light colored heather gray as well. So I got this in a six month as well, but I just love the knits. I just love the Jersey knits. He also got a bunch of stuff from my sister and um, my brother and his girlfriend. So I'm gonna wash all of this. I'm not even gonna bother showing you guys everything because it is a lot of stuff. So, that's what I'm gonna do right now and then put him back to sleep. I'm gonna wash all his stuff. I have his basket right here with me. Throw all this in the laundry. Put him back down for a nap and I'm going to put out my decor because he's so mad right now. <laughs> okay. so this is how it's looking i have the mini pumpkins in this mesh basket this is from dollarama actually so don't sleep on the dollars type stores okay some good stuff right there so this is from dollarama pumpkins are cute candle smells amazing i just put the lid back there and i forgot that i had this pumpkin from michael's that i had in the cabinet but um yeah it's going real well and the flowers go perfectly too 
So yeah, that's how it's looking right now. I do have some extra pumpkins. I think I'm gonna just find some places to put them in the house. Um, what else am I gonna do? Yeah, maybe I should put some pumpkins up here. I don't know. Who knows, who knows? Good morning, guys. It's a new day. Asher's talking in the background, but yesterday I had to stop vlogging like abruptly because my batteries were both dead. My, mem my memory card. Hi, Dada, I know. He wants to talk so much. He loves to chat in the morning, oh my God. But um, yeah, my memory card was full and my batteries were dead, both of them. And I have three batteries, but I just can't find the next one. The third one, I can't find it. Anywho, it's the next day. I actually just um, changed Asher, fed him and stuff. He took a nap already and now he's up with me. I came into his room because, again, it's like every vlog I'm showing you guys that I'm doing his laundry. <laughs> so in here it looks like a mess. He's actually perched up over there. I have him perched up right there. Um, he is very enough, okay? He loves to sit up and see what's going on. He's not so much the type that likes to lay down anymore. He needs to see what I'm doing. But anyways, I just have some of his clothes in piles here. This is going to be hung up. Because like I told you guys, I have hangers now. So I'm going to have to hang that stuff up. I already started putting some of his stuff away. I put some of his stuff all away already. In here, in here is just kind of wild looking, honestly. <laughs> But we're gonna get it dealt with right now on the agenda for today. Um, we're actually gonna go to Ikea Spare the moment. We were not planning on going there But this morning I said to Curtis like he has so much clothes and these drawers are honestly getting too full now Like these drawers are honestly getting too full. I know there's more drawers But to be honest there's stuff at the bottom as well. Like let me show you guys. It's not like super organized But it's like an organized mess almost so this bottom drawer has a bunch of stuff this is things that he can't really use right now like shoes bibs and stuff like that so we keep them in there his blankies go over there and in this in this section here we put his towels and bulky stuff like that and as you guys know his top drawer has his diapers and stuff so i feel like he needs a bigger dresser are you talking to mom dada <laughs> okay He's getting hyped. I low-key also want to turn my office into his room. I honestly did not want to do that before because I very much utilized my room. I did not want to do that before because I used to film in that room and all that type of stuff. But I don't do sit-down videos anymore. I don't really do makeup videos anymore. I'm not even going to say don't really. I actually just don't do makeup videos anymore. Um, yeah, I'm more vlog now. So... I don't really need a dedicated room anymore per se to do that. I just need like a little space to cotch and edit on my computer. As you guys saw, I brought my computer into our bedroom actually just so I can be closer to him when he's taking his naps and stuff. Um, and that's been like kind of working for me. I still need to figure that out because it works but it doesn't work but it works. But anyways, the guest room will be free again. He can go in that room. I'm still deciding though because I don't know how long we're even going to stay here at this house either. So I don't want to go into full redecorating mode and then we leave, you know? So anyway, um, Curtis said he's going to be here. Oh shoot. He's going to be here in like 15 minutes. Um, we're supposed to be ready. <laughs> Not going to happen, okay? I'm just going to pack a little bag for him. I'm just going to pack a little tiny bag for him. Okay, he's mad at me now. You want to say hi to the people? Uh. Anyway, um, ah. are you chatty? Anywho, I'm going to pack a little bag for him. I have two bags that I carry around um, ah. when we go on the road. As you guys know, his Auntie Zola got him a Telfar for his diaper bag. I'll show you guys what I put in that too. But I also do um, carry around a mini. You guys saw my mini Nike bag in my last week of pregnancy video i bought that bag for myself but i've been using it for him just for like quick little mall runs grocery runs ikea run today so i'm gonna pack that bag today usually i have stuff in it but i don't have a change of outfit or an extra blankie in there right now so yeah say hi chunky boy so yeah if we find a dresser a new dresser at ikea then we will get one if i like it we need to know the measurements and stuff he has hiccups now, so I'm going to figure this out. But anyways, we're going to get dressed and head on out. Currently, my office looks like this. Literally, like, just a, a room with nothing in it. <laughs> so, just a room with nothing in it. Hey, it's me and Ash. 
But yeah, there's literally nothing in here. Just my mirror, my calendar, um, this thing right here that used to be in the guest room, but now it's not. Um, my work table and yeah, I don't know. In here it used to be decorated so nicely, if you guys remember, when we first moved in and stuff. But I kind of rearranged the room and then when I found out I was pregnant, I took my dresser out, which is the dresser that Asher is using now. Um, but I took it out of here and all my decoration and stuff that I had on the dresser is gone, which made the room very pretty. But yeah, I gave the dresser to Asher, but um, coming to realize it's not big enough, right? So got to get him something else. Seven and a half inches. The drop? Yeah. Can you help it? Seven and a half, yeah. So it's the same, so it's a basic you get. So it's just a double and it's cheaper than the single one. Oh but you know why? This isn't um that's a hand dresser, this is not. So what's the difference? So what's the difference? Yeah, that's the part. I think yeah, what is the difference? Is it how far the drawers come out? How deep they are? Too. Maybe? Uh, we'll just measure. Wait. Or maybe how wide the tabletop is. Seventeen inches. Mm -hmm. So check this one. Let's see, that's seventeen inches. Oh, okay. 19. So this one's wider at the top. But it doesn't matter. Yeah. I did Sorry, already. I just wanted to measure something. Stop. Hi, <laughs> right, Asher. All the ladies come up to you. Yeah, he's a ladies' man. These are the dresser inserts that you guys are always asking about. They're at IKEA. I think this is, what is it? Six pieces for eleven ninety nine. actually back now guys um ikea it was pretty successful the only thing is we did find a dresser that we did like and a few other things but on our way there is when we realized like even if we see something that we like um we couldn't bring it back with us because asher's car seat and stroller and everything was in the car so um curtis is actually gonna go back to pick everything up without us so um yeah, unfortunately, in this vlog, you guys won't see the dresser, but by the time the next vlog starts, which will be right after this, um, we will have the dresser. So yeah, we did end up going with, I think it was called a Kopang or Kopang or something like that dresser. It is lower than this one that we have, and it's wider. It's like double the width, double the width, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be good. I'm excited to get that one because his stuff will fit and I can actually like you know put a little bit of decor on top of the dresser but I will show you guys what else we got I was telling you that we wanted some bookshelves or like some shelves to put 
his books on and i used to have these type of shelves when i lived at my mom's house so we actually went with these shelves here sorry but this is just like a little shelf it's a little wall shelf with a little ledge and we just got two of them his books legit can go on top of this so i don't know i think two is good enough let me show you guys where we would put it kind of thinking over here this wall that's right here they can just go right up along there like one two and move the plant over or even on this side of the wall one two and put his books on it but it's a perfect size it's not too long and it's pretty wide so it's decent you know and these were only nine dollars or ten dollars nine or ten dollars not expensive at all i also got a few picture frames i'm gonna print a few pictures of him these were only a dollar something so yeah i got them to go on top of the new dresser so yeah guys we are closing out this vlog um, I just finished changing Asher. He's right here waiting on me. <laughs> I'm actually going to be starting a new vlog, so I'm going to be closing out this one. I hope you guys enjoyed this weekly vlog. Asher is trying to get my attention so bad. I know that. Okay, see you guys in the next vlog. Bye!